This is going to blow your mind. I'm going to talk you through how to use ScienceBase to support you in doing your literature review for your scientific research. It's so good, it's crazy. And I, I really mean that. It's absolutely mind blowing. So let's take a look at what's on the platform. It does more than just lit review. Okay, we're going to do a deep dive into lit review today, but I want you to see that ScienceBase does a lot more. You can do finding topics, you can extract data. Uh, you can do paraphrasing of text. You can actually turn research PDFs into video. There's chat with PDF. There's all sorts of things you can do. All of them fantastic. I'm exploring this. I'm loving it. And you're going to love it too. I promise you. So let me start off by showing you some lit reviews that I've done and the incredible results that come out. And you will see what I mean. I'm clicking on lit review over there. Here are lit reviews that I've done. I'm going to click on one that I did uh, yesterday. The correlation between social media and anxiety disorders in teenagers. Now, if you want to see the steps that were taken, you click over here just so that you can see how I got to, you know, the output. And it was really straightforward. I just popped in a question, right? What are the correlations between social media usage and the development of anxiety disorders in teenagers? It came back with a couple of clarification questions. I gave an answer and then it went on to do its whole thing. Boom shakalaka. Now, here are the results. The first thing that you'll see is that it's found 193 relevant papers. It went through 1,750 papers and extracted the ones that really addressed the question that we're asking. And I'm going to show you in just a minute how to use SciSpace to sift through those 193 papers and find the ones that you really want to extract out and read the full text of yourself. Oh, and by the way, I took the same prompt and I stuck it into ChatGPT and I used the pro version of ChatGPT, so I pay for it. And I used the deep research function and it came up with about 30 papers from the peer reviewed literature. So nothing like this. I mean, this is way over and above the quality of ChatGPT when it comes to literature search. Now, the first thing that SciSpace does before you start looking at all of the 193 papers is it provides a summary based on the 20 best papers, right? And as you scroll down through this, it, it's got a little table of contents at the top and then it's got headings and each, everything is nicely referenced. And as you read this, you realize what a high quality summary it is. At the end of reading, it's just a couple of pages. You will have a really good sense of what's in the literature and what is the current state of science in the space. But here's where things start getting really exciting, because if you click on any of these links, it takes you down to a section over here where you can start getting into the nuts and bolts of the papers themselves. Let's just start by looking at the first column, right? It's got the paper heading over there, but we can we can look at the actual PDF. So if I click on that, here's the PDF itself, and you can read that if you want to. The next feature is the summary. You click on that, and it provides a summary of the paper. And this looks like the abstract, but in actual fact, if you look at the abstract of this paper, this is much, much more detailed than the abstract itself. 